Okay guys, this is Cruz Roy on OnShape.com. Today I was playing around with gears. I want to see if I can just do a very fast gear and uh, see how it works out. So first we want to create, I'm going to call this fast gear. Hit enter. I was watching a video today of someone creating a gear. We want to hit the sketch plane. You want to use the front. You want to view to normal sketch plane. The first thing we want to do is get three good sized circles going here. One, two, and three. All right, the baseline is going to want to stay. Let's uncheck the circle. The baseline is going to want to stay a solid. These two here can be construction lines. A lot of the construction lines are going to be to help you draw or help put the gear in perspective. What we need to do now is dimension all these circles. The outside diameter I'm putting at 5, the middle at 4.62, and the inside at 4.23. Now there's a bunch of calculators on gears online. I'm just copying a fellow Onshaper who was using uh, Onshape with particular dimensions. I messed up here. We got the 4.23, the 5, and we need a 4.62. Okay, now that's correct. I'm going to drag the circle a little closer here. All right, what we need now is a few more construction lines, some verticals and some horizontals with, to give us the angles of the pitch of the gear, teeth. This is also to help us draw the teeth. I'm going to do a vertical construction line right here. And then I'm going to do another construction line at a slight angle. We're going to grab the dimension tool. We're going to click both lines, come up in here, and this will be a 3.75 degree angle. Like I said, there's a bunch of calculators online to help you do gears, gear ratios. I'm just putting together something here that I've seen online trying to do a fast gear. We will need another construction line, so click on your line tool and construction. You want to intersect this construction line at this point right here, at the first vertical and the middle circle. I'm going to drag it out here and make sure that it's horizontal with the yellow dittos in there. And I'm going to need another construction line. We're going to drop it towards the bottom. That's for another angle. Hit the dimension tool. Click both sides. This here needs to be 20 degrees. Okay. Now, we also need a, another baseline circle that can be a construction circle. We need to click on the circle, the construction template. Let's make another circle. It can be any size it wants to be right now get it to about right there. Let's uncheck the circle tool and the construction tool. What you need to do is click on this construction circle you just drew, click on the 20 degree angle, and let's make it a tangent. All right, now you seem to have four circles, a few angles. What we need now is a couple other construction circles to help us draw the face tooth of the gear. So at the same intersection where you've drawn right here, you have a nice dot. Let's get a circle. We'll create a circle, just make it any size right now. Uncheck, well, leave the, yeah, uncheck the uh, circle tool. You want to highlight this circle, make it a construction line, sorry. That one must be a construction. All right, now go to your dimension tool. This new circle you just made, 
all right we need to put a, a dimension in here of 1.15 all right all this is doing is just like if you were taking a pair of squares and trying to set you up to draw the profile of a gear we're also going to need another construction circle here and this one here will have to intersect with the first the last small circle we just made and the inside circle that we created as a tangent you have to be careful here because it's real tricky to line up you should see both sides light up and you should be good create another circle doesn't matter what size it is let's zoom out I'm going to scroll over again shut the circle tool off I want to click on the circle and make this a construction line as well not only is it a construction circle what we want to do is highlight this circle <clears throat> and that circle and make them equal okay I'm getting a bad signal here let me uncheck the two circles and start over all right the first circle we made and the second circle the construction circles need to be equal there we go now what you're seeing is a pattern evolving right in this mess it's pretty cool how it all works out let me scroll out you can see what the sketch looks like right now it just looks like a mess so let me click a few things here and get a little closer what we need to do now is we need to draw one side of the tooth and then we'll mirror it but for right now you want the three-sided the three-point arc tool you want to start at this intersection click intersect with the outer circle the outer diameter click now use that third point to line yourself up as close as you can with the construction line and click we need another one from the same intersection going down towards the base circle intersecting with the base circle same thing click use that third point to line up the best you can with your construction line and click all right now we want to make these two lines let's uncheck the three point tool you want to make these two surfaces highlighted and you want to click on tangent that'll straighten them out for us all right now we have one side of the tooth we have to mirror the other side so hit the mirror tool you want to use the three point 75 degree angle mark as your mirror line and then you want to check click the two surfaces oops sorry about that let's back up you want to hit the mirror this is our mirror line and you want to mirror the two surfaces that we just created with the three arc tool uncheck the mirror tool once you've created the, the two sides back up it's starting to look like a tooth we need to connect to finish off this drawing use the three point arc tool again click on these two intersections at the top use your third point as you can see it's moving to line yourself up with that outside diameter that's the outside diameter of the gear the tooth click once we're complete now if you look at this this is what we got so far looks like the inner wheel and a tooth all right so now that we've created all this we're pretty good we can uncheck we can hit the green check mark on the sketch the sketch is complete what we need to do now is extrude we want to extrude the two parts the tooth and the main gear the base hit extrude 
the base and the tooth. I'm going to turn slightly to the left. Now you can see it. All right, and that's all we need to do with that. We can check off the extrude. Now if you look, we have a one tooth gear. What we need to do is have multiple teeth. So for now, we're going we're gonna to use this other tool that I haven't used. It's called the circular pattern tool. What this does is make everything equal on a circle. And you also have the square pattern tool. Um, all you need to check on is the entities of pattern. You click that to highlight it. That will be the whole part. The axis of the pattern is this outer let me see if I can tilt it for you. This outer cylinder of the gear. I'm going to click on that. Okay, now that just drew a second gear because it's just saying two gears here. Now the calculation of this gear was a 20 tooth, 24 tooth gear with a 15 degree separation. So let me change the degrees here to 15. And let me put 24 teeth. And let it do its magic. We'll hit OK. And let me get rid of the planes. And voila. A quick, simple, equal gear. This is Cruz Roy with OnShape.com. And I hope this helps someone out. This is just a real simple and fast gear.